Hi again, this is Miss Sonia, and I'm a coach with MJOMEF and a teacher in Seattle Public Schools. And I'm going to show you how to tune your instrument today. There are a couple of really important things to remember before you try to tune your instrument. First one is always go really slow. Second, tuning is something that you learn throughout your lifetime. So if you're not super good at it at first, if it doesn't just make sense, that's okay. It takes a long time to get really good at tuning. So just be patient, listen, focus, and do your best every time. Take it slow, and remember this is a lifetime journey. There are a couple of things that make our strings break. So our strings are elastic. If we tighten too fast or tighten too far, then they're gonna break, right? The dreaded breaking string. I've seen lots of strings break and it's not always because you're tuning it. So there are four things that can cause a string to break. One, your strings are old. So over time, they just stretch and they lose their elasticity. And so you go to tune it and it breaks. It's just because it's too old. They're not meant to be left on the instrument for a long time or played for, well, it depends on how often you play, but either six months to a year if you play a lot or two years if you don't play so much. So that's one reason your string might break. Second reason is it's too worn. We wear our strings out by playing them, right? Up here and down here. So if your strings get really worn out, they could also break. Now for tuning, if you tighten your string too fast, it'll break. And if you tighten your string too far, it'll break. Four things that can cause your string to break. Old, worn out, tighten too fast, or tighten too far. So just watch out for those four things when you're tuning and you'll be fine. And if string breaks, string breaks. It happens all the time and it's not something to be worried about. It's kind of a rite of passage as a, as a strings musician. You learn how to replace your strings and you're going to be fine. Happens to all of us. The second thing I want to talk about is how to tune. So we have two different ways of tuning our instruments. We have our tuning pegs, which are for big changes in the pitch. And then down here, we also have fine tuners, which are for small changes in the pitch. Most of the time, your instruments will only need small changes. But if you have a really loose string or a very low string, definitely very, very low, then you might have to use your tuning pegs to change them. So I'm gonna walk through how to use your fine tuners and then I will briefly show how to use your tuning pegs but for the most part, don't use these unless you really have to. The other thing that you need in order to tune your instrument is some kind of tuner. So you can find them online, on the web. You can find applications for your phone. So I usually use applications on my phone when I'm tuning. Or if you have a piano at home, you can use a piano. But if you're using a piano at home, you have to know what the pitches are for your instrument too. So remember, for the violin we have E, A, D, and G. I'll show you how to tune those. In order to tune your instrument, you gotta start with good posture. I'm gonna start by tuning the A string, and your app will tell you if you're sharp or you're flat. So mine says I'm a little bit flat. So if I have a fine tuner, I can go underneath here and turn the fine tuner away from my nose, just a small amount, slowly changing the length of the string to bring it up. Since my instrument doesn't have a fine tuner down there, I'm gonna use my fingers at the peg. And I turn away just a little bit. There we go. So I tighten by pulling the direction of the scroll. That's where I, how I tighten the strings to raise the pitch. And to lower the pitch, I pull them towards the bridge, right? Pull the pegs toward the bridge. Got it. Got it. Cool. So that's my A string. My E string, if it was flat, I'm going to slowly raise the pitch by turning my fine tuner away from my nose. So for some people that means clockwise direction, for some people that means righty-tighty, or just the direction away from the nose, right? Got it! So I can do that with all of my strings, if I have fine tuners down here, right? So A looks good, D looks good, G looks good. So. If your pitch is too sharp, then you're gonna turn it towards your nose counterclockwise or lefty-loosey. So it's gonna to be towards my nose. There we go. 
Got it. So you can use pizzicato and a tuner to check the pitch of your strings, which is super important because in order to play in tune with the rest of the orchestra, our strings have to be tuned exactly to these pitches because that's what everybody has to do. It's kind of one of the things that makes the orchestra really special. So now for my students who are bowing, I'm going to go over bowing and tuning at the same time. The key with bowing while tuning is long, even sounds. No short or scratchy bows. You have to sustain the note for as long as possible. Standing up tall, instrument parallel with the floor, nice relaxed left arm, scroll at 10 o'clock. So, and have long, even bow stroke, I can see what my pitch is. Now watch this. If your bow isn't straight and isn't making that long, even sound, then your tuner's not going to be able to tell what the pitch is. So it'll either read low or high or wobble back and forth. So here's my A. Now that's a little bit changed is A flat. to loosen it too flat and there's a it's a little bit sharp still so sometimes you can tug I have pretty new strings if your strings are new not old Sometimes you can just give a little tug. And they'll settle into place on that A pitch. So um, sometimes I just need to stretch out a little bit still. And they're very elastic, right? Bowing, still move the pitch, the string, just a little bit at a time. Slowly tighten the string or loosen the string. Use your fine tuners if possible. It's really hard to use the pegs, even if you've been doing it for a while. It takes a lot of practice and be patient with yourself. If you end up with a really loose string, just slowly tighten it back up. And you can even hold it in your lap and slowly tighten it in pizzicato. I would recommend guitar position, right? So say if your G was really loose, really loose G string, and you need to tighten that up. You're not a viola player. You don't want a low C, you want a G, okay? So you're just gonna very slowly a little bit at a time, not too fast. Tighten that string. It's easier to do it this way, especially if you're learning to use your pegs. F, not quite right. We need to be up to G. F sharp, closer. No notice I'm going very slowly. So I'm close now here with G. Now my G string, especially with this lower humidity, really likes to pop undone. So I have to push in a little bit as I turn. Too high, just a little bit too high, so I'm gonna bring back down. Yeah, right in between. So it's just very small movements, very small movements of the peg can make a big difference. That's why we don't want to use this too much and go very, very slow if you have to use your pegs. There we go. Happy tuning. Go slow, be patient, have fun. Once again, this is Miss Sonia, and I'll see you next time.